Hey, it's Red Lace, and today I'm going to take you on a tour of the Outpost in Starbound Gladraff. Uh, so the Outpost is kind of like a base where you can collect new missions from NPCs, and you can also shop at a few different um, vendors that are here. So when you first arrive, you can also bookmark this location at the two-stop teleshop right here so that you can travel directly to the teleshop every time you arrive versus having to travel to the planet. One of the new things they added is the vendor over here at the far right, um, which sells things relating to vehicles, which is a new part of the Glad Giraffe update. So here you can shop with Penguin Pete's vehicle lot, and uh, he sells different types of controllers for different cars, uh, hover bikes specifically at the moment, um, and he also sells auto chips. And so they're pretty expensive, you know, quite a few pixels, um, but this is where you can come shop for vehicles. So this is a new feature added in the latest Steel Branch Glad Draft, and you can also sell him items, which is one of the things that's uh, nice about coming here to the outpost, is that you can sell lots of stuff. Uh, Penguin Bay, uh, the guy that does your ship upgrades, is right there, and of course the two-stop teleshop, where you can acquire teleporter cores and turn in your teleporter cores to acquire actual teleporters, um, which are super handy anytime you want to fast travel around surfaces of planets and use your bookmarks uh, more efficiently. So if we continue on through the outpost, uh, heading up to the second floor, if we head all the way out to the right, uh, this guy, the ore merchant, will sell you um, iron bars, copper bars, and coal, and you can also sell things to him as well. Uh, so that's a nice thing to do if you spend a lot of time mining or you have an excess of equipment. You can also utilize the iron crafting table that's here, which is especially handy in the early game if you haven't acquired one yet. And if we come across here to the left, this is the scientist. Uh, he will give you a few missions while you're here at the outpost uh, during certain points of the game, so you'll want to check in with him regularly. And if you um, continue on, I can't help but push the buttons that are in the outpost. I just have to see if anything happens. So, <laughs> But if you continue on, uh, the sign design gal's still here. Uh, this came out during Spirited Giraffe, so you can still make your own custom signs with her. Uh, printing signs and copying signs that you've already made. Uh, so definitely check out that feature. If we head up to the third floor and go all the way to the left, there is the Frog Furnishing sh Store, which uh, if you, like I, uh, tend to decorate a lot in your house, you can come here and buy decorations. You can also buy Colony Deeds, which if you place in a room with at least one door and a light source, someone will move in and you can become a landlord. And uh, I'll be doing a video later on how to become a landlord and what that entails uh, later on, so please subscribe to be sure to catch that video. But otherwise, there's some furniture you can buy here. Uh, he's got some featured items, furniture, and then of course the landlord deeds. And so he's got some pretty cool things today. He's got uh, seaweed pots and um, seashell furniture, which is pretty cool. So uh, he's a good place to stop by every so often just to see what he's selling. Then if we head back down to the bottom floor and uh, go back to the left, you can see there's a cooking table there. And then we also have Terra Mart, which sells some food that you can't necessarily find on planets. They also sell grass seeds, uh, which can be planted on tilled wet soil. Uh, so you'll need to use a watering can to wet the tilled soil, and then you can plant grass or flowery grass seeds, which looks pretty cool and it makes nice decoration around a house. You can also buy things for your pet here, a little red ball, food bowl, or a pet house, which came out with Spirited Giraffe as well. Uh, maze Bound 64 is here, which is where you can acquire your winning ticket. If you don't know how to get through that maze, please check out my video on how to do that. Uh, and then at the very beginning there is Infinity Express, which you can buy and sell here as well, and buy some basic supplies like bandages, flares, climbing ropes, and a couple other random odds and ends. So that is a tour of the outpost in Starbound, Glad Giraffe. Please be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live on Twitch at Red Lace Gaming, and visit my website, redlacegaming.com.